day and age full of all kinds of stress-inducing problems, our friend Emma G believes the power of music can help parents and their teenagers deal with these issues in a positive way. The singer, songwriter, musician, author, and youth empowerment coach is joining us now over Zoom to tell us a little more about teenagers' trauma and the power of song. Hello, Emma G. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. How are you today? I'm so glad you're here. It's very interesting as I look at it from an adult's 10,000 feet view. I look at youth right now and I think all of the things that are going on because they're affecting me too. And they have to be hitting the youth in a different way. So I'm so glad you're here to talk to me about how parents can interact with youth in a way maybe they haven't thought of. Yeah, it's certainly a wild time to be alive, you know, as, as a human, let alone as somebody who's also going through significant hormonal changes and, you know, personal events that are shaping their lives as adults, future adults. So, um, you know, I decided uh, even before the pandemic that my, my, my happy place is working with young people and then the pandemic happened and I was like, well, you know, it's time, it's go time, you know, this is, yeah. it's the young people, this Generation Z, they're the, they're the future and we need to make sure that the future of this country is as healthy and uh, mentally and emotionally as possible. I'll say to my girl the other day, when kids are in that youth period, it's a great time to get angst out of their hands and get an instrument in their heads. Because I think if you can teach them music, you can teach them an outlet that they can work with. It's another tool in the box when the anxiety creeps in. Is that what you're finding? Amen. Yeah, I mean, instruments are great. And the reason why instruments in particular are great are because that helps to stimulate the brain in new ways that, um, you know, songwriting alone might not necessarily do. However, when you couple instrumentation with songwriting or even songwriting alone, um, there's some fantastic things that can happen both mentally and emotionally and cognitively. You know, we're able to... Um, stimulate parts of the brain to regrow brain function um, by utilizing music. We're able to lower the levels of cortisol production that young people are experiencing, as well as increasing our um, oxytocin and dopamine levels. So even on a chemical uh, wavelength, the benefits of music are phenomenal. However, again, when you couple that with songwriting, which is my you know, love language, <laughs> we're able to, you know, utilize that elevated happiness and the elevated positivity and use vocabulary, use languaging, use ways for young people to learn how to communicate more effectively, especially in a world that is so um, focused on social media and less on face-to-face -face communication. Tell me about your TEDx yeah. talks. Oh gosh, <laughs> so my TEDx talk <laughs> was a dream come true, I'm not going to lie. I've been, I've been wanting to do a TEDx talk since 2014, um, but my TEDx talk was literally on how songwriting and music saved me after having had 10 brain surgeries, wow. which was, um, you know, I think a little bit confrontational for some people. However, um, I have a neurological condition called hydrocephalus, which means I've had 24 surgeries in my life and 10 brain surgeries in total. and. As a result of these, um, you know, <laughs> life-changing surgeries and life-saving surgeries, a number of things happened with regards to my neurological health, uh, my cognitive brain function, and my emotional and mental well-being as well. So songwriting was literally the way that I could, um, you know, regrow and redevelop lost parts of my brain function, whilst also finding a channel to, um, well, for finding an outlet rather, to channel my grief, my overwhelm, my stress, um, even dealing with school bullying, you know, um, and it's, it's, it's still serving me up to this day. And all of that songwriting increases your self-confidence, your awareness, your vocabulary. It's all great for all, everything going on in your brain. That's so cool. Emma, thank you for spending some time with us today. We're going to try to get people rolling in that direction, and, uh, and thank you for inspiring us. Of course, thank you so much for having me. And of course, people can reach out to me, Emma G Music .com or Emma G Music on all social media platforms. I love that. Emma G is bringing youth empowerment through music. For more information, in case you missed that, like she said, it's Emma G Music.
imagemusic.com. Look on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, YouTube, imagemusic.com. We just met the amazing and inspirational Emma G in our last segment, and we told you all about her music. But telling is one thing, actually hearing it is another. So without further ado, here's Emma G's hit, Songbird. With every single verse, I'm in relations with my destiny. Reclaim a title as the queen because I know my worth. That don't mean that I don't misbehave. Let me be clear that I'm in love with taking the plunge. It's a game between the give and take. It's me and me because I know that I'm. Put me first That don't mean that I won't let you play Let me be clear that I have love To give a king It's a game between the give and take It could be you but I'm not Chasing anything I can be a summer baby Give me yours and I will be your, be your. 